Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use the given graph of f of x is equal to the square root of x to find a number delta such that if the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta, then the absolute value of the square root of x minus 2 is less than 0 0.4. So what we have to do is to interpret these inequalities. So if we have the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta, that means the magnitude of this is less than delta. That means that x minus 4 is less than delta and greater than negative delta. If we add 4, then we can see that x is less than 4 plus delta, and it's greater than 4 minus delta. So this is basically saying we have a range of values of x that are no more than delta away from 4. Right? You can go all the way down to delta away from 4 in one direction, or all the way down in the other direction, but we have to stay within that range. And this is going to correspond with the absolute value of x, of, of the square root of x minus 2 being 0 0.4, which means that this is greater than negative 0 0.4 and less than 0 0.4. And if we add 2 everywhere, we get that 1.6 is less than the square root of x is less than 2.4. So what we're saying here is that this function corresponds to a range of values of this function between 1.6 and 2.4. And there exists a delta such that if we don't go more than delta away from 4, we stay within this range. So that corresponds with these points here that we have to first find what they actually are. So if x, let's just call this x1 and x2 for these values of x, the square root of x1 we know is 1.6 because that's the corresponding value of the function. And the square root of x2 is 2.4. So therefore, we can say that the um, square root of this value is 1.6. So if we take, um, we want to solve for um, this x value, we can just square both sides of the function to get that x1 is equal to 2.56. And same thing here, that x2 is equal to 5.76. And we're saying that if we stay within 5.76 and 2.56, the function is going to stay between 1.6 and 2.4. So what is the delta that corresponds with this? Well, if 4 minus delta equals 2.56, and 4 plus delta equals 5.76, we can solve for delta. So doing this, we get um, negative delta is equal to negative 1.44. So delta equals 1.44. And subtracting 4, we get that delta equals 1.76. So this is saying that if we go 1.44 to the left of 4, all the values in that range are going to be less than 0 0.4 away from 2. Right? They're going to stay within this range. Right? Go 1.44, all the points you're going to hit are less than 0 0.4 away when you plug them into the function. And this is saying if we go 1.76 in this direction, we're also going to stay within values of the function that we're worrying about here, where it's between 1.6 and 2.4. So which is the actual value of delta? Well, this is saying that if we go no more than delta away from 4, we're going to get the right x values. But if we do 1.76 in this direction, right, that's further than 1.44, let's say that this point right, right here, that's going to correspond with this point, which is outside of the range. Meanwhile, if we go 1.44 in this direction, that's going to not be all the way to 1.76. 
that's going to only be about here, which it is within the range. So you have to pick the smaller, more restrictive um, delta value to account for the fact that it's not the same on both sides. So we can say that delta is 1.44. And if you go no more than 1.44 away from um, 4 on the x-axis, the square root of x is going to be between 1.6 and 2.4 for all values within that range.